Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. Then you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye-find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye.
Michael. I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. I... I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. Remember, you're not working Hi. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? Ah, won't run with the pop-ups up. And now we scan. Scanning. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. Almost cracked it. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Making history, dude. Hey, and we couldn't do it without the little guys. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Oh. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Hey, am 
Michael. Hold on, hold on. Doomed! I doomed you! Lester, the thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. And what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define a... <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No, I'm watching Famer Shame! Stop fucking tits! You guys are going to the final. Mine's on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase, full-on weapons-grade red alert world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we're about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal... Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Hello? Oh! Get security! Ah. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 Lester, that was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know, the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. D-Unit, sup? Just checking in. Hey, I know I've been kind of busy lately, but I hey, wanted to see if you, you were okay. I'm terrible. Know. The common routine of having a cranky alcoholic slumped in front of the TV or passed out on a sun lounger is completely evaporated. I don't even know what to do with myself. Haha, ha, very funny. I'm not saying you are, but if you are robbing and probably killing again, can you please not get shot or arrested in the house? It'd be really embarrassing. Well, maybe if you were working, I wouldn't have to.
Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. How did the interview go? What? Oh, yeah. That didn't work out so good. I don't think my air guitar was good enough. It must be awful having to beg for an entry-level job at your age. I'd say you could get a job here, but they literally don't employ anyone over 25. And nobody overweight. It makes me so sad and depressed for my own future. Do you have kids? Yeah, I got a son and a daughter. Not that much younger than you. It's them it's the hardest on. Our generation was promised so much. Right. If you could make it quick, I was in the middle of a blog post. Don't tell me you have another interview. What is it this time, receptionist at an online marketing company? I'm not saying you shouldn't take advantage of age diversity quotas, but it's so tragic. Feeling like the parents are arriving to break up a party every time you walk in a room. Hey, I'm not that old. That's it, head held high. I look at you and my dad and I see men stripped of their dignity, emasculated husks of their former selves. Well, at least he's got you to keep his spirits up. I buy all my clothes online with an app that fits them to a 3D model of my body type. Look, are you sure you can afford this? I just don't know whether dressing like a man half your age is the right way to compete with a man half your age. <laughs> you know, for a girl working as a store assistant, you've got a lot to say about my career path. Oh, this is just temporary until, you know, the recession goes away. I've got my whole life ahead of me. As soon as my compilate degree starts to gain currency in the marketplace or my blog picks up traffic, I'm out of here. I don't usually dress like this. They make us wear the clothes. Okay, what is it this time? What? I can't shop in here? I've noticed that older men with a full head of hair are particularly prone to dressing age inappropriately. You know, for a sales assistant, you really are terrible at selling. We're trained to be snooty and scathing. It's part of the suburban vibe. Well, aren't you just too cool for school? I'm too cool for school, but you'd get arrested at school for being an old pervert. Wow. You know something? You'd be BFFs with me. Wow. How many times have you been in now? Look, are you really here for the clothes? If you've developed some creepy obsession for me, I'd like to know now rather than drag this charade out any longer. <laughs> no. Sorry, sweetheart. Don't flatter yourself. Because that's never going to happen in a million lifetimes. Do you understand? Hey, okay, okay. I think you made your point. So long as we're on the same page. <laughs> 